Hey everybody, it's Data here back with another PFSense tutorial. Today we're going to just do a DNS redirect tutorial. The use case for redirecting DNS, uh, basically you want to take complete control over DNS on your network. Say if you have devices that specify their own DNS uh, address, uh, say for example, um, I have an Android phone and even though it gets the DNS settings from the DHCP server. Um, it also, being Android, uh, has the Google uh, DNS servers as a default. So basically what this does is that uh, any, any DNS uh, request that comes through, um, it hits this rule that we're going to create and uh, is redirected to the internal DHCP server within P PFSense. Uh, that's going to allow you to completely control what DNS servers are used and where your information goes. This is a bit of an optional step, but we can first check what DNS servers your router is getting from your ISP. You can do this by going to status and then down to interfaces. This page will show you your LAN and WAN interfaces and what we're looking for is down here the uh, DNS servers provided from your ISP. Um, these are mine here currently. Those were just attained through DHCP. Uh, these will be the servers that we'll be changing. Okay, so first thing we need to do is decide what DNS servers we want to use. Uh, I personally am currently using Cloudflare. Um, you can do a Google search. There are several out there. Cloudflare is pretty good. Quad9 is also pretty good. They provide DNSSEC and DNS over TLS if that's something you're interested in for extra, extra security and encryption. For this example, we're just going to use Cloudflare. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and configure our DNS servers at the system level. As I said previously, uh, right now we're using the DNS servers that were provided by our ISP. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Now, PFSense kind of puts this in an odd place. I'm not really sure where else they would put it, but uh, how you get to it is you go to system and then general setup. Under here, there will be DNS server settings and then DNS server. So what we'll do is You'll have a primary and a secondary DNS. Now you could just put the one DNS in there, but just for redundancy's sake, just in case one goes down or you have any issues, um, go ahead and put both DNS servers in there. So we can just copy this. We can paste it in here. You can leave these um, as the defaults. And then we'll hit uh, add DNS. And we can go back and copy our second DNS server. Now, once we put the DNS servers in there, what we want to do is scroll down. We want to disable both of these options. This option will keep your DNS server configuration from be, being overridden by your WAN DHCP. So we'll uncheck that. We will uncheck this option here as this will allow us to use PFSense, uh, our local PFSense machine, as our DNS resolver. So once we've made those changes, we can just scroll all the way down to the bottom and we can hit save there. And those changes have been applied successfully. The third thing we need to do is actually enable the DNS resolver within PFSense, which is unbound. So how we do that is go into services and then down to DNS resolver. Don't go to DNS forwarder. We need DNS resolver in this instance. Now what we want to do on this page is go ahead and enable the DNS resolver. We scroll down a bit here. The other option we want to configure is enable forwarding mode. Make sure that is checked. And then go ahead and hit save. And we want to go ahead and apply changes. All right, and uh, changes have been applied successfully. So that's basically set up the DNS resolver within PFSense. The fourth thing we need to do is create the port forwarding rule. How you do that is you go to firewall and then to NAT. We want to make sure that we are on the port forward tab. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the add button now on this page what we want to do is go ahead and select LAN under interface and under protocol we want TCP slash UDP the next thing we want to configure is destination what we want to do is invert match and then we want that to be LAN address so what this is going to do is it's going to target anything that isn't destined for the LAN address of the PFSense router. What we're going to configure next is the destination port range. We can select DNS from this list that will populate the from and to port. Next we want to configure the redirect target IP. What we're going to do is put the loopback address for the PFSense box here locally. And then what we want to do is configure the redirect target port for DNS as well. We're going to scroll down and the description, we're going to call this redirect DNS. We also want to make sure we configure on NAT reflection. We want that to be disabled. So basically what this rule is telling us here is that on the LAN interface, when it comes to TCP and UDP protocol and anything that doesn't match the LAN address that is the DNS port, we want to redirect all of that traffic to the local DNS server. So we can just scroll down here and one thing to note here is that if it's configured to add associated filter rule, which it is by default, what that will do is create a filter rule as well as the port forward rule. So we'll go ahead and hit the save button. And then we'll go up here and we will hit apply changes. All right, so the fifth step, uh, we just basically want to check and make sure that our rule is working. So what we can do uh, is a couple different things. One is we can go to the uh, status of the resolver what we do here is we go to status and then down to DNS resolver. All right, so what we can see here is our Cloudflare DNS servers are configured and we've got a TTL and a ping going. You can keep clicking on the DNS resolver up here and that will show you uh, the values changing there. So we do see that it, at the very least it's reaching the Cloudflare servers. The second way we can test this is going and checking the states on the firewall rule. So we can do that by going to firewall and then rules. And then the, this was created on the LAN interface. So we want to be on the LAN tab and we can see our rule that was created from the port forward rule. Now what we want to do here is we actually want to move this up. In this case, I want it to be at the top because I want it to be the first rule that's hit in the order here. So what you can do there is go ahead and hit save down here to save your order. And then we can go and hit apply changes. So we see that it's there at the top. Okay, so what we want to do here is keep an eye on our states here. So we have zero states, uh, zero bytes gone through this rule. So if we bring up our terminal, just do a dig. We can see that we got an answer back, the IP address, and we can also see that the router picked that up. So if we go to LAN, we can click LAN here and it will refresh the page. You can still see we've got no states and no bytes have passed through that rule. That's because they're going through and actually hitting the default allow LAN to any rule. So what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll do a dig and use the Google DNS servers for Google. Once again, got an IP address back. This is saying it came from the Google DNS servers, but if we refresh LAN, you can see here we've got one state and 162 bytes 
pass through that rule. So for all intents and purposes, you can guarantee that's working. So that wraps up our PFSense DNS redirect tutorial. Very short and simple. Once again, if you have any questions or there is anything that I didn't go over, uh, make sure to put them in the comments. Uh, if there's any other tutorial that you would like to see, uh, just let me know. And I uh, will see you guys on the next one.